Hugo Rivera here and this video is for the friends of Mike Westerdale and today I'm going to talk about the most overrated supplement out there okay um, before I talk about that supplement I want to say the following supplements are great once you're following the right training and nutrition program okay if you're not following the right training and nutrition program don't even think about supplements because you're just not gonna get the results that you want Supplements are an addition to an already good program, okay? And only in that context will they work and they, they will give you the results that you're looking for. And depending on your training experience and depending on your goals, there are some supplements that will have some dramatic effects on uh, your performance and in your physique. But the key thing is that the training and the diet are the most important things by far. Do not allow anybody to tell you otherwise because if somebody tells you otherwise I'm here to tell you it's not the truth okay just after the money in your wallet and the only thing that's gonna be shrinking is your wallet not your waist anyways with that said the most overrated supplement in bodybuilding I think is protein powders okay how many people I've heard or how many people email me on a daily basis being like, hey, you know, Hugo, what's the best protein powder so I can go ahead and gain some muscle, this and that, blah, 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 etc., etc. Here's the deal. Protein powders have absolutely nothing that will go ahead and get you to gain more muscle over food itself, okay? As a matter of fact, real food is the most anabolic supplement there is if you want to put it that if you want to take a look at it that way okay real food is where it's at okay protein supplements what they give you is the convenience that you can go ahead and drink this and they'll go ahead and make for one of your meals because as you will see in my body reengineering program for example I suggest that you have a solid breakfast a lunch and a dinner but I also suggest that you have snacks in between now these snacks can be in the form of real food or these snacks can be in the form of protein shakes and many of us who are on the go like me for example even though I work for myself I'm an extremely busy guy on a daily basis and what I do is that I have my solid breakfast my solid lunch and my sol solid dinner but then I have protein shakes in between because it just makes it much easier for me to follow my diet that way now of course uh, when I'm getting ready for, for a competition for example what I'll do is that I'll even minimize the protein shakes and I may have one up until like four weeks prior to the contest in which case I just change all my meals to real meals simply because real meals increase your metabolism a little bit more than a pre-digested protein shake okay so for a contest of course I want any kind of advantage I can get but uh, for you know for everyday life obviously I'm not gonna go through the hassle of eating six real meals a day so therefore what I do is that I have three and then I have the protein shakes in between that's it other than the convenience that protein shakes give you and the fact that uh, there are some good protein shakes out there in the market that have nice blends so for example with one protein uh, shake you may be getting protein from egg you may be getting protein from milk you may be getting protein from uh, uh, how you call it uh, from whey sources and things like that so you get you get various proteins in just one shake and that is awesome but other than that and the convenience that the protein shakes give you like I said they're not more powerful than food so do not get confused and please please whatever you do do not try to substitute all your meals with protein shakes because it's not going to work again these are supplements okay been there, done that, whatever mistake you can imagine, I've done it. So I'm trying to save you uh, the trouble and the headache, okay? Three real meals minimum, the rest protein shakes. Sometimes I even do four real meals and then a couple protein shakes a day. And that should be absolutely perfect, okay? Anyways, I hope that this has helped you and uh, that it clears up the confusion and the uh, uh, kind of myth about protein shakes out there. And uh, I hope to have you training hard and getting some really good results from your workouts, okay? Anyways, check out my body reengineering program below because I think uh, if you're confused and you don't have a program to follow, this program will save you years of effort. It took me years actually to figure out uh, how to put things together. And uh, But I can tell you that once you know what you're doing and you have a solid plan that will take you from A to B, um, the results come pretty pretty quickly. You'll be amazed. Anyway, until next time, take care and train hard.